For this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make colored themed edits. If you don't know what colored themed edits are, basically it's just where you pick a color that, you know, kind of like matches the character or the edit you're making. And you basically just make little like, you basically just make the edit the color of whatever color you choose. I don't know. It's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you pretty much just some key things to do when making these types of edits, types of borders to use, how to change the color of the scene. Here's the example edit. You can check it out on my Instagram, Films by Tati, to watch it with music. I'm pretty proud of this edit. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. So yeah, let's start. So the first thing with these types of edits, I think that borders are super important. I feel like if I didn't do these like rounded borders for this edit, it wouldn't have been the same. So I'm gonna teach you three different types of borders you can use for these types of edits. So the first one um, is gonna be the border that I used. So I just have my base, it's two clips, um, nothing fancy. So you're gonna go to layer, new, and then solid. From here, I like to use the color pick, this little like Doppler thing. And I like to go to one of the colors on my clip and kind of grab that one so that it can match. For this example, I'm going to use green because that's what I used for the example edit. After I get my solid, I'm just going to drag it underneath my clip or the edit. Make sure you have your entire edit pre-composed when you add the border. After I drag the solid underneath my clip, I'm going to go to the top. I'm like, I try to phrase things because if people are new, I don't want them to be like, wait, what? We're going to go up here to our shape masking tool and I'm going to click Q one time and it's going to give me this rounded rectangle shape. And then once I get the desired shape, I'm going to double click on it. And then, oh my God, look, we have the border. Just kidding, I mean, we have to like scale it first. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna click S on my keyboard and then I'm gonna scale it back. Mm, I'll do 95, but it's really what you want it to be. You can do like 90 or something, but I advise 95. I forgot to add exposure, that's what's missing. Oh no, I do have exposure. Well, just looks weird. Okay, so the next thing with borders. So now we're gonna move into the second style of borders that you can do. This one isn't my favorite, but I'm gonna show you anyway. These are just plain borders. So go to layer, new, solid, get the green or the color that you want. And then we're going to look up CC jaws and the effects and preset section, drag it or double click to add it to your clip. We're going to make the height zero and then the completion. You can make it whatever you want, but I'm going to make it to about here. Oh, not there. I'm going to make it to about 94. I don't like these borders because they just seem tacky to me. Like, cause like any just basic borders reminds me of like 2019 where we used to have like white borders and pink borders. Like the, these type of borders with just one color look very weird to me, but you can do it if you want, if it matches the edit. Okay, so now we're gonna do the third set of borders. We're gonna keep what we have right here. Although we're gonna fix the completion to something a bit longer. So to 89, that's where I put mine. Now we're going to grab another solid, the same color, and we're going to add CC jaws again. I should have added this first. So I'm going to click the little I button on the first borders that we added so I can see what's going on on the top one. So once again, turn the height to zero. I'm going to put it to 98. You see these like squares all around the composition? take the top one and just shrink it down you can also do this with scale if you unchain this little symbol right here you can do it this way i'm gonna do it the simple way so i'm gonna move these down i'm gonna turn back on the eye for my original border so that i can see okay so now i'm gonna move it down a little bit and i'm gonna put it here now i don't really use this often because i just feel like it's not efficient like look this I don't know, this looks smaller than the one above. It just doesn't look even. And because of that, I get scared to use it. So I don't use it. You know, play around with it. You may have to mess with the center. I don't think anybody would notice or care. So that's it for the borders. Now we're gonna move on to changing the colors of scenes. So a lot of people, when they do color theme edits, they like to change certain components and colors of the original scene to match the color theme that they have going on. I don't like doing this because it looks tacky to me but you could totally do it. I mean, I do it sometimes. I'm gonna click into my composition and go to this scene right here. As you can see, 
I'm sorry, that's the wrong scene. <laughs> Let's just say that you're in the middle of the edit and you're not feeling the original color you picked. So right now, I'm not feeling the color green. I want to do purple. Since she's already wearing a purple dress and her brother's wearing a purple shirt here, we can keep that. For this clip, she's wearing um, green. So I'm going to change the colors here to purple. So I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna go to my original clip. I'm gonna look up change to color. This is change to color. Basically, there's a lot of settings. It could be very overwhelming. Um, it's okay. I'm gonna explain it to you. So from and to is how you're gonna change the color. So think of it like this. I'm gonna change it from green to purple. Take the color pick and I'm gonna click the green because that's what we're changing. And then as you can see, it's already changing. I'm gonna go into my color because I need to pick the purple. It's a dark purple. So I'm going to do that. It's not fully doing what it needs to do. What I like to do, it's not very professional, but it's how it helps me. I'm going to duplicate change to color. So now I have two. Because it's identifying it as a different hue of green, with the from setting, I'm going to color pick the parts it didn't get. And look, most of our clip has changed. So I'm going to do it again, duplicate, and change the two settings. We're going to get the other parts of the hat here. The only issue with this is that you can see some of the purple coming onto the car. I'm going to leave it there because I don't really think it matters. Um, when you're like doing the transitions and whatnot, people shouldn't even be paying attention to that. So yeah, you can do it way better than this, you know, as far as like the leftover purple that's there. Um, that's just an example on how I would change the color of the scene. When you're doing color themed edits, you don't need to be so like anxious on finding a scene where she's wearing blue because the theme is blue. Really, it's just about taking tiny details of the edit and making it that color. So since we're already at purple, we're going to stick with the purple theme for this section. And I'm going to teach you how to change the colors of overlays. So in the edit, I use this kind of like heart overlay thing. That's what I'm going to show you how to do because it's originally pink hearts. Also, I get a lot of questions about my overlays and where I get them from, but don't worry. I'm going to make a whole video on all the overlays that I usually use. You're just going to have to wait for it. But for now, this one will be in my description. If you don't know how to use um, overlays with black backgrounds, you're just going to right click on the overlay, go to blending mode and do screen. And oh my God, it's literally on the clip. So it's pink. And like I said, you don't have to change every single little thing to the color of your theme, but for overlays, it is good to have the same color. So I'm going to look up tint and I'm going to add it to the overlay and it's going to come out black and white because that's literally what the settings are preset as. Basically, you don't need to pay attention to the black one. We're going to click on map white two. So basically change the color to and I'm going to use my color pick and go with the purple that we have here. And it's dark, really dark. All you have to do is just go back to map white two and change it to a higher, you know, like hue. And there you go. I also like to add turbulent displace to this type of like overlay. I have a turbulent displace video on my account. It's, um, it's actually a turbulent text, but it still applies here. Why isn't it moving? Oh, so just take that video and use it for here. And that's really it. Super fun. I think color theme edits are super cute. I want to do them more, but for me, I'm just indecisive and I don't know, sticking to one color kind of like the thought makes me a bit nauseous. I don't know why. 